Hey, what's up? Yeah, man. What's going on, man? Good, good. All right, cool. So we're here. Hey, I'm Aaron, and this is Nino, and we're from MyVLNF. So we're here at Whole Foods in Porter Ranch, where we're going to try the Beyond Meat Burger. Now, uh, in a cut another video, we're going to sh share some information about the Beyond Meat Burger that you may not already know. But Nino's tried the burger before. He says he loves it. I've made it at home, and you know, from a basic menu version, it's it's incredible. And he says that it tastes amazing here. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. Let's do it, man. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Hey guys. So while Nino and I are actually doing our ordering in the other video, I'm gonna do some explaining to you guys about the Beyond Burger named after the Beyond Burger from the company Beyond Meat. There it is, look at that. The company describes their burger as a plant-based substitute and they say that it looks and tastes like a meat-based patty. The company's been working for almost a decade to get their recipe right, to know, to research, to understand everything there is to know about meat. So this burger is made out of 20 grams of protein, plant-based protein, and guess what? The protein comes from peas. And to make it more interesting, the Beyond Burger doesn't have any GMO products, soy, or gluten. One second, I need to figure out whether or not we got our food yet. Okay, so we're almost there. You guys might be wondering why the company want to take on the taste and form of meat, and why else they have their meat products in the meat department at some Whole Foods markets. In an interview in 2014 with Ethan Brown, the CEO and creator of Beyond Meat, he actually brought this issue up. He said the company is committed to providing meat to consumers in a way that takes the animals out of the equation. And the company website actually says that the best way to get people to eat less meat is by giving them what they want, or I'm sorry, what they love. And in this case, it's a juicy, delicious burger. Oh, this is gonna be amazing, man. I can't wait. Guys, I've gotten this burger at Veggie Grill before, and it's great there, but there's something about this one here at uh, Whole Foods, because they make it with field roast cheese, chow cheese, and it just, I don't know what it is, it makes it taste better, so. Sweet potato fries here. Aaron's got the regular fries, so let's try that. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh, you're gonna go, oh, you're gonna go for the bite, okay. I'm gonna go for the bite, yeah. Okay. All right, ready? Let's do it, man, hey. Cheers. My VLNF. Tell me that's not one of the best you ever have. Damn, let me try it with a pie. That's good. The pickles? Now, some of you guys have probably gone through this. If you've ever had a bean patty, the consistency is not always consistent. Sometimes you'll have something that may, might taste a little too unsalted, a little too watery. It just doesn't taste good. But this patty is different. It tastes like meat. And these guys like it a lot. It's incredible. This, this is really good. This burger really right good. here, even when I wasn't vegan yet, I can compare it to the best burgers I've ever had in my life. And I honestly this, this can say, man, this is, it will rival it. Now, I don't know if this is philosophical or psychological or maybe both, but Brown does argue that if you look at what meat is, you can recreate that experience through the plant kingdom. It's pretty simple. But it's kind of revolutionary. That's good. Good job. Good choice. I told you, I knew you would like it. Listen guys, at my BLNF, we're here to share what we learn, what we know, and our experiences with anyone who is interested in the plant-based or cruelty-free lifestyle. I'm new to the lifestyle at just seven months, and I've had my own challenges. But I will share that stuff with you guys in the future, as I hope that the community and some of you share with us but until then I want to give the floor to the other gentlemen us Nino and I in the other video Aaron what's up guys man that was some really really good vegan burger man 
Beyond Burger at Whole Foods. Woo! It was that was really good. It was really good. I'm glad you liked it, man. Yeah, you I wanted you to like it. Was a really it. good place. I wanted you to like it. Now you gotta take me to your spot. He says that there's this. Uh, I don't know. He keeps raving about this uh, buffalo wings or chicken wings. That um, I'm telling you, the, those buffalo wings are one of the best things that you'll ever have. Okay, like, I want to try it, man. I want to try it. It's one of the kind of meals that that you know aren't the greatest for you, but you would want to eat that. And this is where again? Where is this? You want to eat this at least once a week. Where is this? Have you ever heard of uh, the Yard House? <laughs> okay, he says it's at the Yard House. So I'm like, really? Okay, then show me. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna be our next segment. They look like chunks, but they taste like chicken wings. Crazy. I got, I gotta see, I gotta taste it. I gotta right. see it. Until then. Oh, that's good.